15 ounces. Three pounds and 15 ounces for Clint. There we go. We're going to put this bad boy back in here. He wants to quit school and be a pro fisherman. Wow, okay. We'll talk about that with the teachers and everyone else. But Clint, come on, give me five, buddy. You're in the lead right now. Over three pounds. First time to ever go fishing. Thanks for taking Here we go. Three pounds and 15 ounces is what Clint had. So y'all need 316 to take the lead. One fish today that goes four pounds, nine ounces. Four nine. You guys in the lead. All right, who's Matt? Who's, who's Matt? Who's Brian? I'm Brian. You're Brian. Brian, how old are you? Twelve. What grade? Six. Where do you go to school? Yeah, are, did all these stalkers come with you? What's going on here? Paparazzi. Paparazzi, he said. What's up, guys? Photo up. These guys are in the lead. Hey, what, what was it like today? It was fun. Why, why was it fun? It was just fun to go out and just catch some fish. Yeah, yeah. How many did you guys catch? Was this the only one? No, it was about eight, or t eight to ten. Whoa, that's what I'm talking about. Have you, had you ever been before? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're kind of the pro in the boat, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Four pounds and ten ounces to be in first place, all right? You think you got it? I don't know. You don't know. He said just push the button. Here we go. You've got one fish, one bass that will go three pounds and nine ounces. Three pounds, nine ounces. you got to give it up for Elijah. You want to pick it up, Elijah? Nine-year-old Elijah brought us. There you go. Hold that up a little longer. Look at his cameras all over the place. Nine years old. How about that? You need 410, Destiny, to take the lead. Right now, you have one bass that goes three pounds, seven ounces. Three pounds, seven ounces. Not going to take the lead. All right, you and Sam, hold it up for the camera. Yes. Three pounds, three ounces. Three pounds, three ounces. Nice job. Got you in about fifth right now, Enrico. You want to hold it? Caught it. Oh, Ira? Ira, what, what, what do we have in the bag? I don't know that anyone wants to pull it out. Uh, we have a snakehead. We have a big snakehead. Snakehead, which we've been told by the, uh, I guess, the local authorities, Game and Fish, that this type of fish is a nuisance uh, out here on the Potomac. And so uh, they've been asked if you catch a snakehead to, um, to kindly dispose of a snakehead. You don't reach it. Uh-oh, here we go. All right. Now we're going to have a little... A little, a, fishery, a little fishery right lesson here. Yeah, that right there is a nuisance out on the water. And that's what uh, we're trying to get rid of. That way the, uh, the rest of the species can be healthy out there. Yeah, so if you catch them, and a lot of our pros are doing that this week, we've been asked to kindly dispose of them. Five ounces, two five. Not going to take the lead, Denard. You want to grab it though and get a picture? Get up there, Denard. Nice job. You guys give it up for Denard. In third place right now. Two pound, five ounces. This is a great event. Teaches kids great things. We, the Fish and Wildlife Service, look to you to the future. And if you understand about what's going on here, going on, on with fishing, going on with the environment, you'll like working for the Fish and Wildlife Service. So keep us in mind for the future. Thanks very much. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's good. How many did you get? Three. Three? How big? Show me how big they were. Huge? Uh -oh. Yes. How big? Show me how big. That big? Is it going to win? Is that the number one winner? First place? You're supposed to say it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of course it's going to be first place. So you have fun? Yeah. I lucked out when Tobolts US called. Offered the position to come out here and help. Uh, I was all over it. Just, and I love doing it. I love helping kids. I got to meet some great people. Um, the young man that we had on the boat was fantastic. Great way to spend a Friday. Uh, the Potomac River is, is one of the most historical places I've ever lived, and there is nothing like it in the world. I've, I've been a captain for over 10 years. Uh, I've run waterways from California to Maine and Florida to Mexico, and there just isn't another one like the Potomac River. Um, being able to maintain, um, work on, and help the Potomac River is, is why I'm here. We're here today to promote boating safety, environmental protection, and, and to teach the kids today to be stewards of the sea. Uh, we also uh, do Asian navigation, public affairs. We also have Sammy the Sea Hunter here today wearing his life jacket, and we're here to promote uh, wearing of life jackets. 90% uh, of our voters 
they drown, drown because they're not wearing life jackets. So life jackets is priority one, safety is priority one uh, while on the waterway and boating.